Okay, let's look at this quantitative reasoning solution for grade 6. Alright, so here we have 3, 2, 5, 1. And here we have 2, 14, 28. And here we have 5, 3, 10, 5. Alright, so um, let's start with this example. 3 times 2 is 6. 5 plus 1 is 6 that's equivalent numbers 2 times 14 is 28 20 plus 8 is 28 5 times 3 is 15 and 10 plus 5 is 15 so we're going to work with the first example um, 3 plus 2 Sorry, 3 times 2 is 6. 5 plus 1 is 6. So for any um, for any part, we would need this. So to get 3, let's try to get 3. I'm going to have 5 plus 1, which is 6. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. So to get 2 going to have 5 plus 1 is 6 and 6 divided by 3 is 2 All right so let's try to get 5 to get 5 i'm going to use uh, 3 times 2 is 6 and 6 minus 1 is 5 and to get 1 I'm going to have 3 times 2 3 times 2 is 6 so 6 minus 5 is 1 so that's it for this example now if you apply the same method here you're still going to get uh, the same thing right so let's go we have 2 times 14 is 28 and 20 plus 8 is 28 so let's uh, try to get 2 so we have 20 plus 8 is 28 and 28 divided by 14 is 2 so to get 14 20 plus 8 is 28 and then um, 28 divided by 2 is 14. So to get 20, we have 14 times 2 is 28. And 28 minus 20, sorry, minus 8 is 20. So to get the next number which is 8 that's the last one there you have the same way 14 times 2 is 28 and 28 minus 20 is 8 so whatever works here has worked here and it's also going to work here so you can just apply it to the necessary exercises that you've been given all right, do well to subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions. Bye.